Hi, in this video I want to talk about the advantages of homeschooling. In my previous videos I discussed the legalities of how to home educate within your own state. I've talked about um, the, the variety of types of families that homeschool, thereby busting the myth that we are all one hippie movement and um, stereotyping us to one type of homeschool family. Um, we're all so varied and so different. I've also um, talked about um, what homeschooling is in general and what it means. And it means different things to different people. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about ad the advantages of homeschooling. Um, I will start with the idea of um, being part of the real world. Um, in homeschooling, since our kids are not locked up in the house, usually, um, all the time, and unless that's your chosen way of home educating, if it's your lifestyle and if it's a matter of where you live and how you choose to do your homeschooling. But for a lot of families that I know of personally, we're not in the house all the time. Um, in fact, we're probably out more than we are in, and there is a certain type of balance that we have to strike in order not to be out too much. Um, so we're part of the real world in a lot of ways. Our kids are not committed to being in a building called school from 8 to 3 o'clock. Um, their lifestyle is meshed with their parents and together we cohesively create this new lifestyle together where we just, based on each other's needs, we can be out or we can be in. We can go on a field trip or we can read a report or we can do a book report or we can read a story or we can watch a movie. It's very liberating to be able to make those choices. Um, so that's one of the advantages of homeschooling is the flexibility that is, that is offered to you when you choose this option. Yes, homeschooling is a journey. It's a, it's a path that a lot of people don't want to take because they feel, uh, if, I, if I do that, does it mean that I'm, not, I'm no longer free you know, to do the things that I like as an adult? You know, am I committed to just like hardcore teaching all day long you know, for five hours? But no, it's really not like that, and it's um, it's very flexible, and uh, so I I love that, and that's one of the advantages. Also, another oh, the other thing about the real world is that, for example, if our kids want to learn about dolphins, we don't have to wait until the school, the 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 big school, public or private or whatever. We don't have to wait until the school says, we're going to um, plan a field trip for you know, 150 kids this year for fourth grade to go to the museum or to go to the aquarium. You can just plan it yourself and take your, your kids or even another family, you guys can get together and decide we're going to have a field trip. And you can go to your um, aquarium and see dolphins. Because if you're studying that and you want to go see it, then go see it. It's that simple. You get out and you, and you go do what you need to do to make the educational experience come alive for your kids and for your family. Um, so that's, I think, part of being in the real world. Also, if you have a teenager who's interested, as I mentioned in another video, in being a vet, and you live on a ranch, it's so easy for that kid to, to study animals and to and to understand animals, to be around those animals. They're getting their real world experience being a part of that environment and growing up in it. Whereas if you'd sent that particular child to school every day to learn their math and their grammar and their English and, and, and drama club and this club and that club, and then they come home, they don't have time to do the things that their heart desires to do, the passions that they have to work with animals. They didn't have time because they had to go to school and do all their schoolwork and then but when you're at home with your kids when your kids are at home um, and especially as they get older you can sort of modify their their educational plan so that they can do the things that they're passionate about and begin to study as an apprentice um, begin to study those things that they're most interested in so there's that um, part of being in the real world also I like that um, Let's see. 
in our family, our kids, our girls, you know, they don't, they don't always get along. No, no siblings do, but they're very close to each other. And that's something I think has come as a result of being at home with, with one another a lot and being around each other a lot. They have a, um, an understanding of each other. They have an empathy for one another that just makes me smile and it just warms my heart to see when they do, you know, feel empathetic towards one another. Like I said, they don't always get along and there are a couple of arguments and fights here and there, but for the most part at the end of the day, they love each other. They'll give each other a nice big hug and say good night and they're just so sweet together. And I think that that family bonding is, is a result of homeschooling and I'm glad they had this experience to grow up together. Um, so also, homeschool children, I believe, receive a very high quality education and it's specifically attuned to their own interests and their own um, ideas and their own passions and um, suited for their own interests, suited for their own personalities. And I think all of that is just what makes homeschooling a big advantage for many families. Um, I don't think there's any other educational option that, that does all of that. But, I mean, of course, there are going to be advantages to different, different types of educational options. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying that homeschooling is the only option forever for everybody. You know, there may be seasons of your life when you, when you may need to choose a different option. But on this video, um, since we're discussing the advantages of homeschooling, I just have to say that it is probably one of my top um, choices for top reasons for homeschooling is the flexibility and just the ability to, to, to really hone in on what my kids need and be specific, you know. So um, if my kid has an interest in ballet, we can, we can do that. If she has an interest in, in piano, we can um, make plans to, to bring that into the mix. So it's not just um, you go to school, you get off the bus, that's it, do your homework, go to bed. Um, so it's it's very, very uh, eclectic mix of different things going on. So anyway, um, that's what I believe the advantages of homeschooling are. There are a lot more advantages. Um, if any of, you, any of you have advantages you want to add that I've missed on this video, please do a VR video response. Um, let me know what I've missed. But those are a few. Mostly flexibility has been big for our family. Um, so on my next video, I'm going to get into the idea of socialization, and that comes next. Thanks for watching.